Now to someone that knows the job of DHS Secretary, Michael Chertoff had that gig under President George W. Bush, and he strongly disagrees with these impeachment proceedings. He wrote an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal, and he said, don't impeach Alejandro Mayorkas. House Republicans are misusing the process to target an official who has done nothing wrong. Now the executive chairman and co-founder of the Chertoff Group, Michael Chertoff, joins me live to talk about what he calls a political charade. Mike, good to see you. You write that Republicans are making an unsupported argument that Mayorkas is derelict in his duty and they should drop this impeachment charade. Why do you think this effort is just a bogus sideshow? Well, because there's no evidence that has been presented of a violation of the law or, or something that suggests you're not actually fulfilling the responsibilities of your job. What we're hearing about is a disagreement about policy. And the irony is that actually Secretary Mayorkas and the administration now has been arguing for more funding, which would enable better control of the border. And it's the Republicans who are objecting and don't want to fund it. So at the same time that they won't give Secretary Mayorkas the tools to increase his ability to control the border, they're complaining that therefore he should be impeached. And that really is uh, almost, uh, uh, by definition, a comedy. <laughs> um, and frustrating for others. Uh, the proceedings, though, are actually moving forward. But does that actually mean that Republicans have something here? No, this has unfortunately been very politicized. And what's happening is Republicans are simply saying, as a matter of party loyalty, we have to go along with impeaching Secretary Mayorkas. And, the, and again, there's no evidence that would actually persuade an impartial fact finder. There's nothing like this that suggests a violation of the law. In fact, if you read Secretary Mayorkas's letter uh, to the Congress that was made public today, he makes it very clear that the number of removals has actually been greater under his tenure than in the Trump administration. And that they have, in fact, been working very strenuously to limit uh, illegal crossings and to adjudicate them quickly. And again, the biggest problem that the department has had is that funding to have additional Border Patrol agents and additional uh, judges to adjudicate asylum claims has been denied by Republicans. So again, it is really a matter of a kind of a, of a grim irony that Republicans are denying the department the tools it needs to control the border and then blaming the department for that. So you, you write about, you know, despite what you think about this, and you definitely say it's a charade, you do point out that there are aspects of immigration strategy that are definitely worthy of debate here. So you've named a few uh, of those aspects, but talk to me more uh, about exactly what you're talking about and, and why, um, you know, this doesn't meet the impeachable threshold. Well, I mean, I, I, none of, as I say, I don't believe any of this gets close to impeachment. I understand there are disagreements about, for example, do you release people while their adjudications are pending to be in the United States? How do you house them? Do you detain them? Do you let them go wherever they want? Do you put them under some kind of supervision? Um, you know, balancing the need to be humane with the need to actually enforce the law, you can have a discussion about. It. But all of those are within the scope of what the law allows. And if the uh, Republicans want to have an honest debate about some particular policy issues like how long people should be detained, whether they should be released on probation or whether they should be locked up the whole time, you can have that discussion. But that's not a matter of impeaching the secretary. It's a matter of having a policy debate. And then ultimately, I go back again, you've got to give the department the resources it needs to actually carry out the policies. Right. All right. One more question, Mike, because Republicans say it's Mayorkas's fault that there's this record number of migrants arriving at the southern border just last year, roughly 2.5 million people, according to the data from U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Do you agree that those numbers are entirely his fault? And how much worse, you know, is the situation compared to the time you were DHS secretary? 
I think it's not Secretary Mayorkas's fault, but I do think there are some considerations that we need to emphasize that are pushing people into migrating. Climate change is an issue when people are worried about drowning or having you know, their communities set afire, they're going to flee for their lives. In Venezuela, we have a, an autocratic government, um, which we actually oppose in the United States. Not surprisingly, thousands and hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans are fleeing because they don't want to be oppressed by autocrats. In fact, globally, you're seeing these kinds of considerations, the rise of autocracy and climate disasters, forcing people to run to save their lives. So how do you deal with this? The best thing you can do is try to fix the problem where people are being pushed out, whether it's dealing with climate change or dealing with uh, creating some space for people to have freedom. That would actually eliminate a lot of the pressure. You know, when I was secretary, and most of the migration that was illegal was driven by economic considerations. People were looking for work. That is still a consideration here, but now more, much more than when I was in office, it is literally people fleeing for their lives, seeking democracy and freedom, or, or worried about the fact that they have autocrats who may uh, remove that freedom. And those are issues which can't simply be resolved by putting people at the border. We've got to work to alleviate the conditions that are chasing people to leave their homes and flee into the United States. Former DHS Secretary Michael Chertoff. Mike, it was great to see you. Thanks so much for your input. Really appreciate it. Good to be on. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.